Hi everyone, this is Rakesh. Welcome to VR Computer Education. Today class will continue with data types. So in data types, today we'll discuss derived data types. So let us start derived data types. <clears throat> so first of all, what is derived data? types derived data type is the aggregation of fundamental data type means the data types that are de derived from the primitive or fundamental data types are known as derived data types see the data types which are taken from the primitive or fundamental data types those data types is considered as derived data types so let us see what are the derived data types so there are five types array function pointers structures union so what is derived data type the data types which are derived means taken from the basic or fundamental or primitive data types so here there are five types array function pointers structures union so let us discuss one by one data type first array so what is an array see before starting this i want to inform you that so derived data types we have one by one topic so array is one topic pointers is one topic structure is one topic union is one topic next functions is another topic so individually we have separate topics in c language for derived data types so here we'll discuss only the definition a small example so when we go to that topic We'll discuss in detail about arrays, functions, pointers, structures, unions. Right? So now just only definition, syntax, small example. So array. An array is a collection of items stored at continuous memory locations. Or you can say it is a collection of similar data type and shares the common name of array shares the common name of array so here syntax data type array name size of array example int you can see int num of 5 means you can insert 5 numbers in this array so normally normal variable and array variable what is the difference sir you may get it down so normal variable can store only one value but array variable can store based on the array size remember suppose if you here if we did not mention 5 here that be that is normal variable it can store only one value here i have mentioned 5 means array size 5 means this integer array will take five values will store five values next we used character data type means this is character array you can store five names in this so that is a small difference between normal variable and array variable so what is that normal variable will store only one value but array variable will store based on the array size so this is array next function what is function a function is a block of code or program segment that is defined to perform a specific well-defined task see a function means a block of code it contains a block of code means opening and closing braces 
within opening and closing braces inside we will write some code that is called block of code or you can say program segment so that is defined why we are defining that block of code or segment to perform a specific task suppose here main is the default function that is defined in every program of C so when we write every C program will start with main function because without writing main function how the program will be executed so program starts execution from the main only so here the small example I said main is a default function here example you can say a return type function name parameter list return type can be anything you can write void void means it will not return anything int it returns integer value float it returns float value double it returns double value like that example you can write void add here i want to perform addition of two numbers like this int a int b void add me add means here function name void means return type means add function will not return any value now if you use void we know already void means empty here two variable parameters have taken int a and int b next example int add you can see int means it return type is int means this add function will return integer value meaning of this so this is function next pointers so pointers are symbolic representation of addresses means it stores address or memory location of another variable so a pointer is a symbolic representation of addresses pointer which represents addresses or simply you can say a pointer is a variable which stores the address of another variable here it is there see simply you can say we can define a pointer is a variable nothing but pointer is a normal variable which stores the address of another variable so pointer will store address of another variable syntax see data type here asterisk symbol denotes pointer variable here variable name example here i have written int asterisk ptr means pointer variable so if you don't mention asterisk symbol here it will become a normal variable if you mention asterisk then it will become pointer variable next structures So a structure is a user defined data type in C. C structure is a user defined data type in C. It creates a data type that can be used to group different data types into a single type. So what is that? A structure, what it will do? A structure is a user defined data type. So it creates a data type that can be used to group different data types into a single type so normally we'll declare individual data types like int care float when you group all together then that will become as structure means you can group here struct keyword is used to create a structure Structures are used to represent a record. Syntax. See here. Struct. Structure name. So inside data type. Variable name 1, 2, 3 and so on. N. Example if you see you will understand. See now here we have grouped. Data types. See care name. Address I have taken as a structure name street city state int here int i have taken like this you can group different data types into a single type that is called structure next 
यूनियन ए यूनियन इज अ स्पेशल डेटा टाइप यूनियन इज अ स्पेशल डेटा टाइप इन सी दैट एलो स्टोरिंग डिफरेंट डेटा टाइप्स इन द सेम मेमोरी लोकेशन यू कैन डिफाइन ए यूनियन with many members union provide an efficient way of using the same memory location for multiple purpose see a union is a special data type available in c that allows storing different data types in the same memory location you can define a union with many members here members means you can see See struct union keyword we will use to define union and union name same like struct structure name. So inside members <coughs> they are called members member definition same like data type variable one data type variable two and so on. So inside these are called members union members. so you can define a union with many members you can define with n number of members union provide an efficient way of using same memory location for multiple purposes so here structure and union looks same but the difference is memory allocations structure will assign individually union will assign only one memory location for all the members so when we are discussing this topic separately union structure there we'll discuss in depth what is union how to create union how to execute unions how the memory locations are given to the unions structures we'll see individually so this is about union now these are all derived data types so what are the derived data types so derived data types means what the data types which are derived from the fundamental or primitive data types those considered as derived data types so they are array function pointer structure unions so till now we have seen what is array just definition syntax example one second i am saying this will have individual topics so in that when we are discussing individual topics we will discuss in depth okay so this is just only the introductions of those topics thank you